Hello students, today we're going to be talking about synthetic division, which is a way of dividing polynomials. So let's open up our foldable. So a synthetic division is a shortcut way to divide polynomials. There is such a thing as long division for polynomials, um, which we are not doing this year. Um, but if you're good at long division with numbers, then it's actually not that different and I can show it to you. Um, but this, this shortcut way only works if you're dividing by a linear binomial with a coefficient, leading coefficient of 1. So something like this, x plus 3, leading coefficient is 1, it's a 1x, and there's just two terms. Okay, so your, um, your dividend can be whatever you want, but your divisor has to be kind of like that. So let me show you how to do it. To set up the problem, you're going to kind of like kind of like the sign you would draw for long division, but upside down. And you're just going to take the coefficients in order. So 2x squared, 5x, negative 3. And then this, the divisor, you're going to flip the sign. So I'm going to be kind of, in a way, dividing by negative 3. So the first thing you're always going to do is bring down your leading coefficient. So bring down the 2. And then from there, it's the same steps every time. You multiply this um, times whatever you just brought down. So negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. And then whatever you get there, you put it right here. And then you add that down the column. So 5 plus negative 6, or... 5 minus 6, if you prefer to think of it that way, is negative 1. And then again, this is what I just brought down or wrote down. So I'm going to multiply it by negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. I write my product right here in the next spot. Add down, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So by the way, this last spot, once you're done dividing, is your remainder. And if your remainder is zero, um, and we'll talk more about this next week, but just to get it into your heads a little bit, this means negative three is an x-intercept of this one, of f of x. So if you were to graph 2x squared plus 5x minus 3, you would see that it crosses the x-axis at negative three. And again, um, don't worry about memorizing that right now, but just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. It'll come up next week. Anyway, so I am done with my division. So my answer is 2. Now, you're always going to go one less exponent than you started with. So this is 2x. There's no more x squared. It's gone. Minus 1. And there is your quotient. Let's try one more. I actually want to go to example two because it's another one with a remainder zero. The rest have other remainders, which I would prefer to show you in class. Okay. So again, we are going to set it up. Take your upside down division sign, kind of. Take your coefficients, so 2x cubed plus 7x squared minus 6x minus 8. And flip the sign. And the first thing you do is, see if you can remember, bring down the 2. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Write that in the next spot. 7 minus 8 is negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is 4. Write that in the next spot. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. Again, multiply. Negative 4 times negative 2 is 8. Write that in the next spot. And negative 8 plus 8 is 0. So again, I have remainder 0. which means that negative 4 is an x-intercept of this right here, which will come up more next week. But your answer to the division problem is 
x to the, and I started with x to the third, so this is going to be x squared, minus 1x, and I don't really need to put the 1, but you can if you want, minus 2. And there's your quotient. So the other three all have non-zero remainders. If you would like to try 1 and 3 on your own and then come check them in class tomorrow, um, number four, please, please leave for in class to do together because there's a, there's a complication to it slightly that I would rather explain when you're all in front of me. So have this ready to bring with you and thanks for watching.